This awesome device right here is the Shargig 100 transparent power bank. The world's first transparent power bank. Look at it. It is so cool. It has a large capacity of around 26 amp hours and the newest tech integrated is super versatile. It has in and out 100 watts fast charging. Of course, many outputs. You can use it for many devices, actually for countless devices, because this one right here, you can customize the voltage. Amazing. And it is also airline safe. But is it really that amazing? Let's find out. Got the new drip from Charge, the Shargeek 100 transparent power bank. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box all nicely wrapped up. Let's remove all of that beautiful matte black box with shiny silver letters. Looks lovely. The sides are just blank and on the back with the nice looking silver letters, we have all the details and the small print specs features and the top will just slide off. So first of all, we have a foam pad, then the paperwork right there. Nice thick manual, all the accessories in this side pouch right there. And then of course the power bank itself and check it out. Looks so cool. And that's all in the box. So quick and easy. So let's get straight to the accessories. Let's start with the paperwork backside of the manual. It is of course multi-language. One with the specs, two with the display, three, there's quite a lot to it, four, and five with all the arrows. And here we have the last page right there. That's basically the same page as right here. And the rest is multi-language. So nice comprehensive manual. Next up, we have the cable fitting to the black and yellow color scheme. USB-C to USB-C with the branding looks amazing. Charge 100 watts PD. And this cable is actually quite long. So I love that. Usually these highly rated cables are quite short. So this has to be really high quality. And right here, we also have a nice carrying pouch with the charge brand on top. And also we can, of course, close it up with the bands. And it looks like that. Very nice. Let's put it in just for fun. Fits very nicely. Oh, look at that perfect fit. And it holds up really nicely. So to recap, the paperwork, the cable and the baggie. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So here we go. It looks amazing and it's wrapped. Ah, right there. Nice. Let's take it off. It's so beautiful, shiny, transparent. I love it. We can even see the batteries and even all the small print on the batteries. A really nice build quality metal on the sides. That is awesome. Many outputs, a beautiful display. What an amazing device. So let's take a close look. So on the top right here, we have the display and the button. Ah, it's a silent button. When we press and hold, we can turn it on and it will react to the polarizer like this. Tons of info on this display. And here we can see the chipset, all the power controls. What an amazing design. On this side, we have all the small print. We have the input and output specs. Great to have so that you don't need to memorize it. And on the other side, we have this note and of course, all the outputs. On this side, we ha also have the name and more specs. And on the other side, we can see perfectly through the case. Check out the batteries. And same when it gets to the bottom really, really cool. And on a display, we have the charge level, the temperatures in and out stats, very detailed and very awesome. Can't wait to actually test it. Not bad, right? So let's charge it up all the way. And then of course do a few tests. Right here, I have a 100 watts fast charger. So let's fully charge it up with the C1 in out and check it out. It will look like this. There we go. As you can see, we will get all the data right there. Love the display. And by the way, a little foreshadowing when we press and hold, we can switch to all the settings. And here we can also dial in the DC out, battery info, temperature units, the timer, display sleep, power off and exit. 
and when we press and hold, it's basically the OK button. So this is one elaborate power bank to say the least. I think that's actually the wrong output right there. Let's try this one, the C1 on the charger. This might give us better results. Oh yes, oh yeah, there we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Just so you know, the charger has also different outputs and not all of them have the same power. So that's full blast right there. 90 watts of fast charging. Love to see that. Let me switch out the cables, but I think the charging wattage is currently limited by my charger and not by the cable, but let's see. Oh, nice. So this cable is actually slightly better even though it is longer. So as I said, great quality cable right there. And while we wait for it reaching those 100%, I actually want to know if we can parallel charge. Well, basically what I mean by this is I will now use the C2 output right there. And let's see if we can also charge up this phone right here while the power bank gets charged. Yes, sir. And as you can see, fast charging. That was to be expected. And now check this out. We are still charging the power bank with 90 plus watts and we're also charging the phone with a good 17 watts. And now we have the red and also the yellow USB icon right there. And as you can see, the battery is slowly getting warmer and we also have the timer going. I love this power bank. So let's disconnect it for now and let's just wait until the power bank reaches 100%. And there we go, we are at 100%. These are the temperatures, so not too bad. Yeah, now we are ready for some tests. And by the way, this is how to turn it off, just like that. And now press and hold, there we go. So let's grab the cable and let's go. So let's go for a few simple charging tests. So first of all, let's turn it on once more. This is what it looks like and we are at 100%. We basically have three outputs right there without the special DC in out. So let's use this one USB-A to charge this dual battery pack right there. It will give us a USB-A indicator as well. Everything is color coded too. I haven't mentioned that, it's super awesome. Then we have the second USB-C port right there. I can use this to charge my phone. It will of course fast charge. So that's the second indicator right there, the red one. And then we also have this one down here. You will, you will need a really thin USB-C cable so that you can use both at the same time or rather all three of them. So this way we have these and let's switch it around to this one and with this one we of course have the middle one right there. So let's switch it up to the other USB-C cable right there. Oh and with the button with a single short press you can cycle around USB-C 1. So this one is charging at 3.7 watts. Then we can check out USB-C 2. This will charge at 17 watts and also the total output wattage and also roll. That is awesome. I was able to squeeze it in, not all the way, but it's doable. And now we have all three options going. So we have the C1, we have C2, and we have USB-A and total right there. So cool. All right, and now it's time to actually check out the menu, which has quite a lot to it. Press and hold to access the menu. And this is the DC output setup right there. With the short press, we can cycle through the points right there. And with press and hold, we can increase or decrease the voltage by one volt steps all the way up to 25 volts. As you can see, this will cycle through. So, and to dial in exact values, we can also use the 0.1 increments, for example, to achieve 3.7 volts for most chips and electronic devices. We can also turn it on or off and just like that we can confirm. I will test this output in a second in my workshop. Then here we have the battery info. When we press and hold right there, just nothing will happen. Yeah, a screen with all these stats. The BMS can monitor all four strings that are in here. We have the total capacity of 89 watt hours and also the charging cycles. So we charge it up one time, then we also have, well, it was in degrees centigrade anyway, so that's perfect. Let's go back. Then we also have the timer with a long press. We can reset the timer. So now it's back to zero, this one on the lower left corner. Let's go back into the menu. Then we also have display sleep settings. Currently, it's always on, basically. We can also change the display direction. Let's try that. 
Oh, we can basically flip it around. I get it, I get it. Just like that, back to normal. And I think a display sleep actually of one minute, why not? One minute, let's do it. And lastly, we can power it off over this right here. And we can also exit the menu once again. So that's about it. Quite a versatile power bank. And lastly, let's of course test the custom DC in and out in my workshop. For this, we will need a plug, the standard 12 volt plugs. But I think this one is not the standard one, but the inner tip is might be a bit thicker. I might be wrong though. Either way, one of these will fit in here, just like that. The power bank is active. And now let's check out the behavior and measure the voltage. So I will attach these carefully right there, right there. And we of course have DC all the way up to 20 volts for now. So on. Do not plug in any input devices when DC output is switched on. Confirm that. And now it's on. All right. Let me try it like that. Oh yeah, that is way better. Look at that. Super safe. Polarity has been switched. Okay, so we have the 3.7 right there. Very nice. Okay, plus one. Okay, and it will switch immediately as you can see. Very nice. It's really exact too, by the way. Let's go up all the way to 10. So you do not have to exit this setup right there. Super handy as well. And as you can see, let's go up all the way to 15. Very nice. And let's go up to 20. And now super exact. Not sure how exact this measurement tool is. And now we should have an over voltage right there. Now we need to switch it up 200. And as we saw, we can go all the way up to 25 volts. Very nice. So that's the behavior of the DC output setup. And when you're done, let's turn it off. And it's off. One more thing. Let's turn it on. Okay. And now let's go back to the main menu. And now, as you can see right here, we have the DC out active right there. And right here, we can see that it's at 24.8 eight volts, which is pretty much exact. Love it. And there we go. So this power bank is so far ahead of the competition. It is amazing. This thing gets a massive thumbs up from my side. Clear, a clear 10 out of 10. I can highly recommend it. This thing is amazing. It looks amazing. It performs amazing. It's just all the way up there. Top notch, a top notch power bank to say the least. So as you saw, the Sharkic 100 not only looks amazing, but it also performs like a beast. 100 watts in and out fast charging. That means you can charge your devices with a blazing speeds and you can also charge up the power bank really, really quickly. 90 minutes is all that it takes for a full recharge. Massive capacity to be specific 25,600 milliamp hours and it looks just Awesome. Great build quality, by the way, just an amazing device on all levels, especially for the price point. And thanks to all the great tech advancements that are integrated in this device, it's not only at the bleeding edge of power bank tech, but also all the way up there when it gets to safety standards. It features a smart IPS display, all sorts of sensors, and a custom developed, well, in-house developed operating system and power management and BMS system in here. It is actually that safe that it's even airline certified, it's airline safe. So you can take it with you on flights, no issues. And one of the best features, in my opinion, especially for DIY enthusiasts, it's especially great for all sorts of electronic projects. Well, aside from the all the different outputs that you have, it's this one, the adjustable DC port. You can dial in the voltage in 0.1 volt segments. It's very, very granular. You can use this to fit any use case scenario. Many electronic devices will need 3.7 volts. You also have 5 volts for USB, for Arduino projects, but you can also, also recreate all sorts of custom battery voltages. With one cell, you have the 3.6, volts, well, all the way up to 4.2. With two in series, you have around 7 volts, 7.4. With three, you can get those 12 volts car battery. You can also dial in the 24 volts for other car or, you know, truck 
electronics, you name it, it is just super versatile and amazing. And 100 watts of output power is a lot, <laughs> to say the least. So heads off to this awesome power bank, the Shargi 100 is a definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.